something important for the day. And <laughs> um, for some, some of the weeks, it actually ends up being almost 20 to 25 to 30 people I have to put on this group. And trying to make sure I remember every single person can be quite difficult. So having to remember them, yeah, it was difficult. Um, and, and how I resolved this, I had to sit down, I had to make a list, I had to look over the run sheet and say, okay, who do I need on this list? And I had to go through and I, I made a list and wrote everybody's names down and have to sit there one by one and cross off each name very thoroughly to make sure that I <laughs> had everybody on the app because if someone misses out on a run sheet and it's important because they need it, then they don't know how the service is going to run on the Sunday. So it's actually very important to have a run sheet with everyone in the group. Something else I had a bit of trouble with was um, learning to make the run sheet because being you know, 29 and out of school for a little while and being a hairdresser, hairdresser by trade, I, I haven't actually used Excel in my adult life. Um, power, um, yeah, Microsoft Excel. So I actually had to relearn how to, to make a, a run sheet on that program. So that was a bit difficult because I didn't know all the little things through the top. So that was getting to know how to run a, and use a program. Yeah, it was definitely an experience. Um, but after lots of mistakes and encouraging words and, and feedback from my the person who helps me out, um, yeah, I was able to successfully make up a run sheet. Um, and now I no longer need help to do so. That's really cool. Um, something I also had trouble with was communication. Um, communication is very important, like I said, with the WhatsApp as well, when organising a Sunday service. If commun communication is lost, things can go wrong. One example I can give you is one Sunday after our service, we had a function going, an event, where we needed to order food and, and cater for people. Um, and one of the problems I faced was uh, we, we'd expected, say, about 15 adults, whereas on the day, we ended up having 25 adults wow. and 20 children. Oh, yeah. So obviously I did not have enough food for that many people. Yeah. Um, so I had to quickly improvise, and luckily McDonald's was next door. Yeah. So <laughs> we, go, we ran over to McDonald's, ordered like 30 cheeseburgers <laughs> uh, for the children, and then what had actually ordered, the wraps and the sandwiches, ended up being enough overall for the adults. Um, and also another thing was, Pastor Aaron was like, where's my dessert? And I was like, you didn't tell me to get dessert. <laughs> so he's like, you should always get dessert. Uh -huh. So from that, I know now that you should always get dessert. Um, so that was something. So communication is really important. Um, and at, adding to the kerfuffle of that day, it was quite hilarious. The McDonald's FPOS machines weren't working. So that was a bit of a, come on, God help me out. Um, and so one of the other team leaders had to come over and just pay for it. But she was reimbursed. So because that's expensive. A lot of cheeseburgers for one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. Um, something, uh, one of my achievements, something I've achieved, um, would be moving with grace. Something I've had to learn whilst doing this role is moving gracefully because I know when I'm given a role or an instruction, I want to just get to it and I race off and thinking like I have to dart here and dart there and get the job done. Um, and, and I want you to imagine the picture of a duck on the water where you see the duck floating and, he, and he's just gracefully floating there above the water. But if, if you were to look under the water, you'd see his little legs going <laughs> racing along, trying to keep him afloat. Um, and Pastor Aaron gave me the image of the duck and he said, I want you to be the duck. He said, even though inside everything's going 100 miles an hour, I want you to breathe, remember you have grace, and, and be the duck who's just floating and casually getting everything done. Because if, if people see you rushing, they're going to go, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. So that was definitely an experience. But I have to say, I have achieved it, yeah. and I now move gracefully. Yeah. So that's really awesome. Yeah. That was definitely challenging. <laughs> um, another thing that I've achieved is resilience. Now, resilience um, is a hard one because being able to bounce back when you've failed at something or you've been told you've been doing a task wrong is always a hard thing. Um, it's always been a challenge for me because in the past I've 
I've um, burst out in tears, I've acted irrationally, and I've even said things that I regretted later, later on. Um, because instantly our defense me mechanism pops up and we, we try to defend ourselves rather than just stop and listen. Because, you know, in, in the word we're told to quick to listen and slow to speak. And that's something I've always had trouble <laughs> with. But, um, yeah, being able to pick myself up and, and shake it off and ask myself, what have I learned from this experience has been a huge achievement. So that's something really, really cool. Um, reflecting back on the past few months, I've realised that it's okay to make mistakes. I've also realised as long as you learn from them and never be afraid to ask questions because without questions we would never have the answers. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Any questions? Um, so, as a coordinator yeah. in your high school... Um, Not got the hang of it yeah. in high school. So, so coming up and using it in my adult life a bit of a challenge. Yeah. But once I was actually sat down and showing what to do with how to, how to make a spreadsheet, spreadsheet that Excel sort of spreadsheet. That's amazing. Yeah, so it caught, took a few goes, but I caught on pretty really, really well. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I commend you on that. I yeah. believe that you're really great. You've come a long way in the last oh. since I've known you. Thank you. Your communication is a lot more open, a lot more better. Yeah. Um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Awesome, thank you. I've got a question. Yeah. So, you know, gracefully like a cat. Yeah. Do you find that when you mark that for um, run sheets and running services and stuff like that, that you can translate that to other areas? Yeah, that? so that's something I was going to mention, but I've had the time period. So I was actually going to mention, um, I've now learned that, so I can apply it to my life, other aspects, but I can also teach other people mm. to be to move yeah. gracefully. Yeah. And that's something, because I find now, because I also do head up the front of house team at church as well, and I've been doing it for the last few years and now I'm able to um, teach someone else how to move gracefully, especially on the front of house team as well. So being able to impart the wisdom I've learned to others is really cool. Yeah. So with, with the children, sorry I don't want to plug in here. No. <laughs> yeah. um, with the children, as a coordinator, what, what are you actually ch teaching the children? It's yeah. really about um, the food shortage. Ah, so that was that was about um, an event. So as an overall um, service coordinator, mm -hmm. everything's looked after as well. So until we lock that building and leave yep. for the day, I have to kind of make sure that things are running well, things are packed up, people have packed away chairs, and, and everything's been put away and things are organised. So because, um, yeah, having to be a quick thinker and work in yeah, the yeah. team, running over to McDonald's, yeah. I'm able to get the kids some lunch as yeah. well, yeah. rather than just feeding their parents. Is that Maddington, is it? But it was a great thing, it wasn't a bad thing that we had too many no, people, yeah, yeah, because yeah. we actually, it was awesome that we had more what did, what did Jesus do? Yeah, With he multiplied. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this role as a woman maker, yeah. um, you work with someone else? So if you Future, I still have Jane, who is there, which was, she was his original okay. service leader. Um, so if I was to take a day off, she would be there. So I haven't actually started a part where I'm um, influencing others for that role yet because it's still all new to me. So I'm still learning more aspects of it so before that would I be down the road. That would be the future, yeah. future goal. Okay. Yeah, on the service leading. Yeah, so I could focus more on the service leading. Yeah. Um, and that was so it could be someone else to take over service ops. So that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. Mm -hmm. And then I can full on step into the new role. Yeah. yeah. Training and, yeah. And also you mentioned about the WhatsApp group. You've got about 20 to 30 people yes. that you try to manage it. Yeah. And you said that they, whenever you send information out, do they respond back? So you know that they actually. The person told me they didn't receive it, so let's make sure they receive it this week. Okay. So okay, I need to I need to make sure that I'm I'm remembering and writing down if I've forgotten someone. Okay. Um, and then I just went back and said, okay, who do I need to put? And it was every every team leader, anyone who was serving on that day. Um, didn't have to be all the volunteers. Yeah. It was just ends up being even though it's in a hard copy. And mm. put it on the wall somewhere so yeah. that they can refer to it. Because they don't have something, you know, maybe they've got to check yeah. WhatsApp or whatever, but you have something that's. Yeah, like so we do print off three yeah. hard copies oh, of good. the run sheet. Okay. And the multi team get one of them, the front of house team get one of those, and um, so does. Um, so I'm having a mental blank. Host team, yeah. quite hard. And, and maybe you have to work in the future at decreasing the amount of people that 
we've got on there and only specific people going on. But at the moment, um, people are like, I didn't get it, I didn't get it. And so we have to just evaluate who should be getting it and who shouldn't be, who needs it, who doesn't need it. Yeah. Yeah.